Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how you can hide rows or columns within Excel. So today's video is going to be super quick and easy. So when hiding cells or rows in Excel, there's two ways you can do it. Now, for example, we just have some random data here. Um, and let's say we don't want to show this depreciation chart. What we can do is select these rows like this. And then we'll right click and we can just hit hide. Now that doesn't delete the rows, it just hides them. If you notice, there's a little little white space in between 20, 10 and 23 here. Those are those hidden rows. So you can drag and select one, you can select them and reopen them. Or what you can do is select unhide and you can do that one by one. And you can do the same thing here with columns. Just doing the same thing, right click, and you can hide those rows. But now there's another way to do it where you can select these, these rows or columns and you go to data and then you go to group. And so what that's going to do is that's going to group all these, these rows together. So if I hit this minus sign, it's going to hide those rows. If I hit the plus sign, they're all going to come back. And I can do the same thing here with columns by doing the same process, just grouping them. And I can more easily hide and unhide those, those columns. So for example, here, if I want to hide the depreciation chart, I didn't quite get that last year there. But if I want to hide the depreciation chart, I can do so very easily and then bring it back just as easy. All right, so those are the two ways that you can really hide data by grouping it or just simply hiding it. If you like this video, please subscribe, smash that like button. I appreciate that so much. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.